बिस्मिल्लाहमानीम वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न मैथ विथ सैयद अली टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज कंस्ट्रक्टिंग बाई सेक्टर्स कंस्ट्रक्टिंग बाई सेक्टर्स नाउ आई हैव टू डेफिनेशन हेयर द परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर पास इज थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट सो वी लर्न वन थिंग द परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर पास इज थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट इट मीन्स that line segment is at an right angle so line segment so that means the perpendicular and that means that it is at right angle right angle means 90 degree the second definition the angle bisector passes through the vertex of an angle it divides the angle into two equal parts and we learned that how to construct that bisectors so first of all i will introduce this this is called protector simply a d right d shaped thing so this is a protector with the help of the protector you can measure or you can make any angle you can see in the middle is zero point and if you go vertically up it's right angle or 90 degree we have both way we can go both way we can if we start our angle from here that 0 10 20 30 40 50 and we end up at 180 180 is a straight angle right 180 is a straight angle 90 is perpendicular right 90 degree right right angle and then if we start the angle from this point then we can read it from 0 to 180 this way so this is another scale both way we can make angles it depends that which way we are measuring it right so now we will learn that if a line segment is given what we need to use right so line segment is always given by the ruler right so this is a ruler where we can see that 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm 4 cm so on so forth and each and every cm is further divided into a smaller unit which is millimeter which is one smaller unit is 1 mm right on the other hand what we have the millimeter so this is 10 mm 20 mm 30 mm 40 50 60 70 and so on so forth so we can draw a line segment with the help of the ruler and we can draw any angle with the help of the protector and then we are learning today that how to bisect a line or how to bisect an angle right so first we will do how to bisect a line so we take a paper put it here and draw a line that is a line segment right so if we have any line segment question can give you the measurement or question maybe show you a line so this line ab line segment ab is 50 mm how much is it 50 mm and question is saying construct the bisector of this line segment ab construct the so question is construct the construct the bisector bisector means which divided it into two equal parts construct the bisector of line segment ab so ab is my line segment right and i have to construct a bisector so there are few steps with the help of this compass we can draw the bisector so first step is we have to open the compass more than half of the line and keep the needle at the point a right keep the needle at point a how much you have to open the compass you have to open the compass more than half make an arc on the top of the line and at the bottom of the line make sure that your compass when you fix it or your paper does not move when you draw the arc right so now you take the 
needle at point B and draw another arc on the top of the line and at the bottom of the line, which cut the previous arc at point A and B or C and D, whatever you point to, want to make, C and D. So what is the procedure? So one step, draw the line segment, draw the line segment, whatever measurement is given, right? So you draw that AB, we have equals, we have given that AB was equals to, you can see what we draw, we draw 50 mm. So AB is equals to 50 mm. And what we need to do? We need to bisect, we need to find out perpendicular bisector, right? So what we have, perpendicular bisector always passes through the midpoint of the line segment, right? Midpoint of the line segment. Now, what is the second step? Open the compass, open compass more than half of the line segment. So anything which is more than, right? There's no measurement, but just you have to open the compass more than half of the line segment and draw two arcs above and below the line, above and below the line segment, keeping needle of the compass at A. So you did this step, right? And what you did next? So what we have done, we are just writing the steps, right? How to construct a bisector of a line segment, right? So next step is then we keep, then we keep the needle at point B. and draw two more arcs, two more arcs, two more arcs above and below the line. Above and below the lines. So we make two more arcs, right? Above and below the line. What happened? Then what we did, right? Then which cuts the previous arc at C and D? Which cuts the previous arc at C and D, right? At C and D. And what is the next step? Next is, step is very simple, we, which we have to do now. Join C with D. Join C with D. Number six, CD, now the segment line CD, is a perpendicular bisector, perpendicular, bisector of line AB. So it's a perpendicular bisector of line AB. So what is remaining in our uh, construction is to join C with D. So let me join C with D. This is C, this is D. And I join these two points. And I'm saying that this line CD is perpendicular bisector of line AB, right? Of line AB. So the, these are the few steps which you need to pay attention and then do every time the same. 
the technique is that while you are constructing this bisector keeping the keeping the needle at a you make two arcs up and below the line then your compass should not move the, if compass move the, the the bisector or whatever you are constructing will not be same and then keeping the needle at b make two more arcs which cuts the previous arc at c and d you can see here and then join c to d this c d line will be a perpendicular bisector of line a b how to how to measure or how to confirm it so it was 50 centimeter 50 millimeter line you can see if it's, it was a 50 millimeter line and it's exactly 25 millimeter to the right and 25 millimeter to the left so it's a bisect bisect means it passes through the middle point and what else we define it has to be 90 degree so if we keep this zero at zero you can see that the line is overlapped with my bisector so that means this angle is 90 degree so we prove or we construct uh, our construction that this is 90 degree this is 90 degree what we define in the definition and this is if it is o then ao is 25 millimeter and OB is again 25 millimeter and the line segment was 50 millimeter right so we did we we write down the construction steps and we did the construction of the bisector now what is the second thing to do second thing to do is angle if you are given certain angle so what we have to do we will write construct what is the question now second question Construct a bisector bisector of 60 degree angle. So what is given is 60 degree angle and you have to construct a bisector. And what is definition of the bisector? That bisector will cut that or divide that angle into two equal parts, right? So what first thing we have to do is we have to draw a line and then we have to make an angle of 60 degree. So we start with the procedure or with the drawing first and then we write up the steps like the same. So what we have is, so let's see, this is my line AB. You can put any name, A, B, X, Y, Z. This is my line and at this point A, I have 60 degree. So, with the help of the protector, I can make a 60 degree angle, right? So, I join that point, match my line with 180, right? And make a 60 degree angle. So, this is my 60 degree, right? I have a dot here and I will join this dot with this point A or whatever name you gave it. So, this is, this was my line PQ, let's say PQ. And I got a 60 degree point, maybe R. So my RPQ is 60 degree. So angle RPQ is equals to 60 degree. And what is the task? Task is to construct a bisector of 60 degree angle. So we have 60 degree angle. Now we have to construct a bisector of this angle with the help of compass. Right? So the steps are open the needle open the compass more than half of pq so it's always there we open the compass and then keeping the needle at p draw an arc keeping the compass at p draw an arc what what this arc did it cut the pq at certain point maybe r right and it cut the arm at S, so we have got two points, R and S, with, the, with this first arc. Now, what is the second step? Keeping the needle, do not move the compass, keeping the needle at R, make another arc in the middle of the angle. And now, keeping the compass at S, cut that previous arc. 
cut that previous arc. So I cut that previous arc. So keeping the needle at R, so you have to be careful that it does not change, right? So it's a little bit, my paper was moving. So keeping the needle at R, make an arc, and then keeping the needle at S, make another arc which cuts the previous arc at T. Now, join P with T. Join P with T. What we did? We joined P with T. And we are saying that after this whole exercise of construction, you will say that T P Q is equals to R P Q. If you measure it, you will see that these both angles are 30 degree. Therefore, TP is bisector, angle bisector, angle bisector. So it bisect, it divides that angle into two equal parts. So TP, line TP is angle bisector of given angle. What was given angle? RPQ. What was RPQ? 60 degree. What is TP? 30 degree. Right? So both are 30, 30, right? So that means bisect. Bisect means dividing it into two equal parts. Now, if you want to check it, you can place the protector again at the same P, match this line, horizontal line, which coincides with 0 and 180. And then you can see that this, this bisector is 30 degree. This bisector is making this 60 degree into two equal parts. So TP, TP is the bisector, angle bisector of the main angle 60 degree. So we prove that again, we will construct one more time in, in, in lesson two, uh, per perpendicular bisector and write down all those steps which we did as we did the steps in constructing a bisector of a line segment. Hope you like the video. If you like it, press the bell icon button, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.